Hey guys, it's Steve from Sarah Designs with my partner in crime today, Taco. She be in bed, so she had to come up here with me. Um, anyway, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to our channel. Today we're doing a Goodwill haul video. Check out this bag. I think I showed this before. Be good, do good. Very cool. This weekend was Mother's Day weekend. And yesterday was Mother's Day, actually. Hopefully I get this post it in time for you guys for today otherwise it'll be Tuesday um which means it'll be Sunday two days ago that Mother's Day was anyway happy Mother's Day to everybody um and I'm gonna stop babbling now probably won't but whatever <laughs> jeez anyway as you may know Sarah lives about three hours north of me so her and I decide every so often to meet halfway in the middle and there's a really good Goodwill up there. So she said, let me take you out for Mother's Day brunch. Which turned into lunch, which I'm happy about. Because I didn't want to get there too early in the morning. And Anyway. Um, so we had a nice little lunch. And then I'm like, can we go to that Goodwill that has all that good crafting stuff? I know. Guys, I know. I said I wasn't going to do any more crafting shopping. But... If you're a crafter, you know that's part of it. I can't help it. So, I wanted to see what they had. There's, a, like, the, the one Goodwill has... It must have been a woman who... Or it must have been a town that was big into scrapbooking. And they have a whole bunch of scrapbooking stuff. I wish I had enough money to buy it all, but I don't. Um, so, I was like, let's just meet there. And then we'll go to lunch. And then we'll go back there. Because they don't open until noon. She said, fine. So, we did that. So, this is my haul. Just saying. Ready? 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 That's it. Video over. Hope you enjoy, guys. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> would that be really messed up if I did that? <laughs> um, first things first, we did go to Joanne's afterwards because Sarah wants to get into doing some kind of resin, something or other, which I've never gotten into. And so we went to see what they had there. And they didn't have anything she really wanted. But I got this for $3. It was 50% off. Of, or 60% off? 40% off? It was something off of their stamps. So I didn't realize it had this one until after I got it home. I was like, oh, bonus. But this was $3. There's three pieces. It says right here, three pieces. You don't ask. Anyway. I liked it. I thought it was cool. Grungy looking. Whatever. Whatever. Stamp. I don't know what I'll use it for. I just liked it. So I got it. That was that. That was all I got from Joanne's. Okay. My water aside. So we got all these goodies, guys. We're going to go through it. Sarah also got this bag of stamps. A big, huge bag of stamps. It was $6.99. All kinds of really cool stamps was kind of hoping, in a way, that she'd forget about it and leave it in the car and I could bring it home. <laughs> but she didn't. She remembered when we went our separate ways. So, anyway. First things first. Okay, while well, this is here. It's um, white half-fold greeting cards. Five and a half by eight and a half. Uh, Inkjet Avery. I got it for a dollar ninety-nine at Goodwill. And then opening it. So let's do that. I don't even think it was used. I want to see how thick it is. Oh, it's like 65 pounds. Pre-fold it. Pre-cut. That's cool. Or pre-cut. Pre-scored. Pre and it comes with envelopes. That was a sweet deal for $1.99, guys. Come on now. How many do we get? And if I cut them in half, One card, 25 sets. One card per sheet. If you cut them in half, you'd have 50 cards, but then your envelopes will be too big. So you can always make envelopes. So, so that's that deal. I was okay with that. All right, I'm going to move some stuff aside. Um, so we have room to discuss. All right, this was $4.99. And it comes in this folder thingy accordion folder and it has 
nothing but die cuts. I haven't gone through it all. I just peeked in it real quickly. Oh, it's got some... Yeah, I'm going to have to go through it. It's got some... Look. Look. Oh, my God. No idea what that is. Maybe part of a flower. That's very cool. Every pocket's got stuff in it. These are little thin ones. It's travel-y. Vacation. I like it. It takes the guesswork out of stuff. I've been doing some scrapbooking. I'll show you my scrapbook in the next video. I'll just do a quick flip through with nothing major. I'm not that great at it yet. I'm not great at it at all. I'm not good at it at all, but I'm enjoying it. And I'm struggling trying to figure out patterns. So I've been going on Pinterest to find different patterns, ideas from people. But then I get overwhelmed because some of these people, people are talented. Let me tell you what. Um... Very impressive. Look at these frames already framed out. And color coordinating. And they do uh, designs. Like there's this one girl does mosaic stuff all over the place. Very cool. What the heck is all this? Letters? <gasps> these are frames. Circles. Every color you could possibly imagine. Look how big that is. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. so I would love to have met the person who did this. There was a picture of a little kid, like a little school kid. Cute picture. I took it out of here. I did see it. I didn't go through every single thing in here, but I did see that. And I took it out because I don't want to put some people's kids, kids on, blasting them all over the place. All right, here's more of these frames. This is die cuts. Oh, cool. Baby stuff. Very cool. This is, see, so this is the same place I got that those two books. I wonder if it's the same lady. Because she had some of these in that other book. I'm sure they made more than one, I know, but it's just still. Let me for that one. Still, it's just a coinkadink. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Castle, same castle. Seashells. Huh? All right, I don't want to go through every single piece. You guys would be like, yeah, click next person. Next video, please. But. Oh, flowers. That's that. Like I said, I think this was $4.99 for this. Takes the guesswork out of doing things. Next, we have this. Oh, it was two. This was $2.99. Now, this came with all this other stuff I'm going to show you, but these are pretty cool. They're stacks of letters. And they're all different colors. Can you see it? This is O, obviously. Anyway, they're all different colors. Stacks of them. There's 1,300 pieces of those. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay. Making a mess. Making a mess. That's what I do. What I do best. So in that pack was this stuff here. And it says scratch pads. Bitty scratch pads. 32, five and a half by eight and a half pages of backgrounds and coordinating frames. There's definitely not 32 in here now, but paper. Just random. This is probably part of that pack. randoms 
So, San Francisco. That says Lisa, I guess. Yep. Anybody know anybody named Lisa? I can send this to them. If they live within. Name of girl, Jasmine. Dear Lisa. Your name was translated into Chinese phonetically. It consists of two Chinese characters. The pronunciate the pro, <laughs> pro what is this word? Promenications and meetings is below. Promenications. L I means Jasmine. S A is the name of a girl. Jasmine girl. That's pretty cool. I don't know anybody named Lisa. One of my really good friends named Lisa was was Lisa, but she's passed. All right, we have stickers. Oh, double sided stickers. We have alphabet stickers. I need to retire so that I could just sit here and play for days and days on end. It'd be so much fun. Okay. Um, vacation punch outs. Oh, oh. <sighs> camping. We like to go camping. Actually, my husband and I never went camping. My ex, well, my late husband, I don't know why I keep saying ex husband, he passed away. I still have the camper that we had. We loved camping, we went all the time. Anyway, that's that. Paper, paper. Oh, there's a little handprint. It matches that. Oh, and it's faded. Like, it matches the stamp we got, which I put away. All right, the little hand print stamp I got from Goodwill before. These are. Cut out stickers, little animal stickers. Lisa Williams, blue, yellow, and green. More for baby stuff, I guess. Told Sarah yesterday, she's only 27, but she's 27. Hello. Time for babies. In my opinion, some babies need to start happening. Stickers. She's telling me here's border. Nice little border. It's like heavy duty cardstock. Paper cardstock. She's telling me, which I get, that her. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I like that. That they want to make sure that their her, her boyfriend is extremely financially savvy. I respect that. <coughs> Excuse me. I wish I had that in my life. But he uh, um, he wants to make sure they're financially secure before they have a kid, which I get that also. But as you and I know, as adults who have kids, you're never ready for kids. You're never financially ready. Uh, this must have been part of this. Um, you're never ready. Kids are so expensive. You just got to suck it up, buttercup, and do it. What is this for? What does this do? All right, let's see directions. What is that? It does something, I'm sure. I double-sided stuff. Oh, look. Oh, this is going to be a fun one. Oh, it is double-sided. I don't know what this is for. I don't know. We'll figure it out. That's that. So, yeah, she said they're, they're not ready yet. I'm like, honey, you're getting, you're not getting any younger. And grandmama needs to spoil the baby. So let's do it to it. This is pretty cool. This is a scrapbooking template. Doesn't look like it was ever used. Guess what? We're going to use it. 
Um, so yeah, and, and you know what brought that about was because we walked, we went into Burlington, it used to be called Burlington Coat Factory, we went into Burlington yesterday and we saw the cutest little outfit for a little one and I was like, Sarah, grandmama's little grandbaby needs this. That's pretty cool. Template. Doesn't give me instructions, just as it's a template. Okay. Then this was pretty cool. This was only $2.99. It's a holiday scrapbook. More than 65 pieces. Create up to 20 pages. Dimensional pieces. Look inside. So it's a pretty cool book. It's like a winter book. Cute, cute, cute. Guys. Over. Choose pre-designed album sheet. Search favorite photographs. Secure favorite photographs in place. It does all the guesswork for you. These are dimensional. This is like little ephemera. These are like little dimensional thingies. Like the little Santa's belt. Super cute. Stickers. And then, guys, your pages are done for you. This has, like, ribbon going down it. It's thick. I can feel it. And then you can just stick your pictures. Like, it, for a beginner crafter or a scrapbooker, this is just what I need. I wish I could find this for other... And I'm sure they're out there, but not for... what I say I paid for this? $2.99. Not for $2.99. There's no way. This is kind of thick here. Um... This is what I need because I don't know how to do the layouts. Yes, I'm looking at them, like I said, on YouTube or on uh, Pinterest. And I watch YouTube videos, but I'll show you guys the next video, my what I've come up with so far. It's just a struggle for me. Sarah's extremely creative. I struggle. A lot of people are extremely creative. I copy people. She thinks outside the box and does her own thing. I like see what they do and I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll do that, but I'll do it with pink or whatever. So anyway, that's pretty good. That's perfect for me. The final item that I got is this bag here. This bag here was $6.99 and I really didn't want to spend the money on it. And I'll show you why. I didn't want to spend $6.99. That's a lot of money at Goodwill. The reason I did it, because I know the value of this. Bundled sage, which I don't believe I have. It is juicy enough. It's already labeled. This is from this is a stamp of Majig. I already have one of these, so I'll give this one to Sarah. And another reason why I got this is because where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Not one, but two iced spruce. This looks like a dog chewed at it. And I can't quite get, the, oh, I got it open. But it looks like it's been chewed up. Yeah, that's still juicy too. And I don't believe I have either one of these colors. Ice spruce, no. Bundled sage. Yell if you hear it. Yell if you say it. Oh, these are inks. These aren't oxides. <gasps> I definitely don't have it. I didn't realize that. There's my inks back here. Iced spruce I don't have. Bundled Sage I don't have. I don't have either one of them. I have the minis for these, not the big ones. So that's good. Those are in itself are worth seven bucks each, I think. Seven, eight bucks. So six ninety-nine. Alright, then in the bag we have Stampin' Up. All kinds of embossing powders from Superfine. That's a green one. I'm gonna send some of these up to Sarah. This is just glitter, I believe. Yeah, it's just chunky glitter. I don't use a lot of embossing folder or embossing folders, embossing powders. 
Where's the glasses at? What happened to them? They ain't buried somewhere. Let's see what this is. Iridescent ice. These are good for the holiday ones. Uh, bold black. Doesn't quite look black. It looks kind of burgundy to me. I'm wondering if she didn't run out and needed a jar. Use the jar for something else. Um, this is old. Look how old this is. Stamp image on paper. Pour powder on wet ink. Stamp. Tap off excess. Place overheat. Powder will melt quickly, leaving a shiny texture. Doesn't even have the name of it on it. Oh, it says Sea Gems. That's old. That's before my time. Stamp and stuff. This must have been Kaleidoscope Transparent. I think there was two of them. This must have been an older Stampin' Up! person. Stampin' Up! Embossing powder. See, I didn't go through all these yet. I just kind of looked at them. This one says Rainbow. Alright, let's see what this one says. Rose embossing. It says embossing. It says puffs. So does it puff up? This is from Ranger. Oh, it says Ranger, but it says silver. Alright, I think they... She used a different container for some of this stuff, I think. It's obvious. What's this one? It says $2. This must be chunky snow, like, yeah. It's chunky stuff. That's pretty cool. This here, embossing ink. Personal stamping exchange. Directions. Squeeze embossing ink all over dry pad. Oh. Looks kind of gel-like. Let's see. Is it any good? Let me. Oh, please be good. Let me. I seem to be a magician to get into this shit. Need to be a spy to crack this one. If I break out in hives. Oh, I can't even squeeze it. There we go. Pretty sure this is no good. Is there a date on it? No. Oh, it's sticky. It might work. I might walk in a pinch. Oh, my hand's burning. It'd be funny if I ended up with a big red blister. It wouldn't be, but. All right. Glass beads. I don't use. We used to make jewelry. We would use these in the past. Here's some other beads. Handsome Forest. I don't think that's the right color. White. I'm looking too white to me. <laughs> okay. You say so. All right. Then we have a couple of these ink. Um, what do you call these things? You know what they are. Stamp things. This must have been the old, old Stampin' Up! ones because I use this now with the beveled edge. I love this. What do they call these things? I don't know. But this this is thick. Like it. Must have been an old one. And this is like a Dollar Tree one or a Dollar Store one. That's that. Then we have oh, personal stamp exchange blank stamp pad. Oh, completely dried up. Oh, guess what? To clean that up, and we'll see if that stuff works in it. It's completely dry. How old is this stuff? Here's the thing I can't. This is why I opened it. It says P 
Puri Bees water, Purables water. Let me open it. I couldn't figure out what this was. Miracles, Pure Bees water. Mincrals, Mincrals? I don't know. But when I open it, it's very dry. And then it says on the back, Bulby and Blue, and then it has it in two different languages. I'm wondering if they're watercolors. We have it in Wine and Rose, Spiced Pumpkin, Bamboo Heaven, and Cinnamon Stick. Oh, good. See, so they're kind of bubbled out. All right, so let's do real quick, real, real quick, because I don't want to keep you guys any longer. I'm going to do it in the blue. I'm going to get a clean brush. I don't want to use that one. I'll use this one. It's a clean brush. Let's put a little water in here. This is just water. Nothing to it. Get that a little wet. And we could have a paper here ready. Dude, that would have been swell. Oh. It looks like it is a watcher based item. I don't do watercoloring. Looks like it's a watercolor. That's pretty cool. Maybe I'll get into that. That is pretty cool. I'm like I need another hobby. Watercolor. Yeah, okay, dude. Pumpies, water, minerals? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, guys, that's my haul for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Next video, I was, I'm was i going to do a quick flip through of my little scrapbook that I've done so far. Nothing major. It'll be really super quick because who wants to sit there and watch look at the little mess I made of my stuff. Um, so anyway, that's that. I do have a couple other videos that I need to edit, but I wasn't too happy with the way they turned out. So I think I might redo them. So I appreciate your patience, guys. My dad is living here now at my sister's, and that's kind of been a problem with him because he's got the beginnings of dementia and he's not quite sure what he wants to do he was living in dallas with my stepmom and her daughter but he hated it down there because he's from up in philly so he said they don't like yankees down there oh my god look i just realized this sparkles can you guys see this it's like shiny object literally shiny object just caught my eye can you guys see that i don't think you can Trust me, it's sparkly. It's pretty. Um, so anyway, long story short, he's not sure what he wants to do right now. We're not sure where he's going to be safe. Um, my stepmom's having a hard time with him because she's elderly herself. So she's having a hard time trying to care for him while caring for herself. Although she's with her daughter, but it's just been a mess. So I'm trying to do what's right for everybody. She won't come up here. She wants to stay down there. He doesn't want to go down there. It's just a nightmare. He'll be 90 in November. So say a prayer for us that we figure all this out. But meanwhile, guys, thanks for watching. And I'm sorry about my sad story. I always end up with sad stories anymore. Um, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.